Okay, this is the first time we've seen like raw gameplay of Grey Zone Warfare and having almost 10,000 hours in Tarkov. I kind of want to break this down a little bit and just go through it. Let's just take a peek. Roger, Raven is in the air and heading to base camp. This is Raven arriving shortly near your position. I do like that they have low ready. Like low ready being in the game is nice. Also Unreal Engine just looks incredible. Yeah, not a bad idea. We'll actually do that right now. Uh, we'll kill the zoom box. Like the foliage looks so good and the way the helicopter blades actually make it move and rustle like I saw a little video on that too All the physics like the the different physics that get applied it's Pretty insane It already looks so good. Like visually, it looks incredible. And that's something that I think a lot of people might kind of nitpick at and kind of come down on it for um, in like certain areas and stuff. But they have to understand that this, like you have to compare this to early days Tarkov. You have to compare this to like 2016, 2017 Tarkov. And if you do that, Gray zone looks pretty fucking fantastic. Modern day Tarkov is definitely more refined than it was compared to these guys in their early days. Okay, the reticles look good. And it said hollow sun too so they actually took the time to get the licensing for the different weapon attachments so that's good that was one of the great things about tarkov is that you can you know build guns the way they are in real life i am excited to see their their scope gameplay because that's the one thing so anybody that watches me anybody that knows me from tarkov i love sniping more than anything and the thing that bugs me a little bit about Unity and about how they have to code it in Tarkov is that when you use a scope, when you ADS, it renders picture in picture. And <laughs> this is the new the new take on Tarkov. This might be the new the Tarkov like competitor. Um, it's called Gray Zone Warfare. But yeah, this in the little clip that I saw, it doesn't render picture in picture because it's you know Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine is designed for FPSs. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out cross platform. I'm not sure what the releases are for that. They're still like pre alpha right now. They haven't even done an alpha play test yet. So this is just some raw footage. This is from the dev team. So these are apparently some of the more skilled uh, dev players that we're watching right now. This is our first time seeing raw footage, whereas in the past it's all been like, you know, kind of scripted and like refined stuff. Um, and like all the gunfights were all not staged, but you know what I mean? Kind of like picked and chosen. This is just 23 minutes of raw gameplay. So this is going to be fun. We're going to kind of like go through it, nitpick it a little bit. Try to pick up on some things. I have seen some other videos, so I'll touch on some stuff that they talked about previously, but this is good. Definitely hyped to get my hands on this one. It's a very similar HUD too, like very minimalistic. Yeah, see like that, the way the foliage moves when your player walks through it. I watched a breakdown of how they did that in the physics. It was pretty interesting.
and it's only gonna get better too right like these are early days the one thing i will say i don't know if you had anybody of you guys have seen it already but there's a ballistics video that they did breaking down like how their ballistics are being tracked in this game and it is probably the most in-depth thing i've ever seen in my entire life where they even have possibilities of like bullets skipping like not just ricocheting off things but skipping and then the different amounts of penetration and then also like on like a corrugated surface how it can like kick off the edge of the corrugation you know what i mean and shit like that it was it was wild but yeah i can link to that if you guys want to watch that too the ballistics are crazy yeah this is our first ever view of some raw footage raw gameplay of uh gray zone 23 minutes with some of the it's just the devs like some of the more skilled devs it's gonna be fun to see because like i said all the footage we've seen in the past has just been like not scripted but you know what i mean a little more like refined So they said there's different factions in this game too, like different um, AI groups. So I wonder who they're fighting. I hope we see them take some damage at some point too, because it's supposed to be really realistic when it comes to like you getting hit. And like what would be life-threatening versus what would not be life-threatening again it's a good thing they have unreal engine i just hope that their servers yeah see like that looks really fucking clean through that scope i hope their servers are going to be able to track that kind of hit detection you know what i mean and that we don't get the the desynky kind of issues that we have with tarkov That's one thing you got to take with a grain of salt too. Every time I watch any kind of dev play a game is that nine times out of 10, they're not like their movements, not going to be insane. You know what I mean? Like they're devs. They're, they're not, they're not cranking nineties. You know what I mean? Yeah, this is gray zone. But the dude, the scopes look clean. The reticles look good. Like it's all licensed shit too. Like so far so good they're taking a lot of boxes i just want to see them loot somebody i want to see them loot somebody i want to see if the loot looks meaningful and like impactful if that makes sense because that's that's where the magic right the magic in tarkov is when you you loot somebody and you're like holy shit you know like you get that oh my god item and they need that they need that like hype if they can get that and generate that man watch out Gunplay looks decent though. Um, recoil looks okay. Oh, you can mount? Interesting. Okay, okay. Vortex scope looks good. A little vortex razor. Okay, there, he took some damage. So show me the healing. Show me the healing process. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's let's watch that back. So he had a little drop down menu. Takes the hit, takes cover, and then like right here. Okay, so there's medicine, there's splints, bandages, and tourniquets. Okay, so it's similar to Tarkov. You got like heavy bleeds. Yeah, it looks like he's got a heavy bleed and then like a a contusion. I guess it's like their icon in the top left. And then you have hockeys for your provisions and stuff as well, as well as grenades. So yeah, similar to Targov, scroll up and down, next, previous. And that's what I said at the very start too. Like you have to compare this to 2016 Tarkov. You can't compare this to current day Tarkov because that's not fair, right? You have to compare them at this point to Tarkov at 2016 in order to go apples to apples. And if we're going apples to apples, this is like leaps and bounds ahead of Tarkov 2016. Oh. That's okay. Yep, that was right in his fucking lungs. <laughs> oh, he's taking hits. Wait, it's an examine. So you can can you actually med your teammates? Is that a thing? Do they already have that in this game? 
The leans look good though. Like the gunplay looks decent. Okay, so he has a, a break this time. He's using the splint. Animations look good. The like heartbeat elevated in the background is kind of nice touch too. Okay, that's so when you check your mag, that's what you get you a little you get your your mag, your cal uh, your caliber, your um, ammo, so that's SP, and then how many rounds. That's kind of nice. It's clean. Like the the UI looks good. So far, I am definitely a fan. Like there's no uh there's no inertia or anything on the leans and i kind of like that <laughs> but that's just the fucking zoomer in me that wants to run around with my hair on fire like tarkov right now when you lean it's got that like super sway kind of slow you know like okay loot somebody i want to yo go check that body please I like that you can like turn your head though still too that's nice the the characters look good though like the backpack and everything it all looks really clean Ooh, okay reticles indoor i like how you get that little reflection on the glass bro what the heck Ugh. okay and the, like the areas look nice too that was the other thing that they're gonna have to contend with like tarkov has and i've said this so many times in the past some of the best if not the best level design in the world like they can take the same assets and make a space feel completely new completely unique every time and they're able to design maps really really well bar like lighthouse uh <laughs> but it's yeah it's gonna be good man like this this looks really clean i want to see them loot something though i'm still i'm, I'm holding out on the loot because the loot is what brings you back the loot is the hype we need impactful meaningful loot and then it'll be good But these these environments look really good and the, i do i can't get over the reflection on the glass oh it's the little things man those little touches okay so we just took a smartphone oh that was actually an objective that was a mission that's not that's not regular loot that's a task item okay that's different you saw it in the bottom right okay 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 you can't just be fucking flying through shit you can't be rushing through things come on wind it back okay so he opens his inventory i want to see this inventory menu okay this is sick so you actually do have a map like of the surrounding areas so that's that's kind of nice you can see like different things i guess you can mark where you uh where you landed and stuff too uh, but it looks like you're gonna have yeah your character you can monitor your tasks different landing zones Which i'm guessing these are the landing zones bravo one and two Camps, I don't know if that's like enemy encampments Maybe but then your character he goes over to the character screen. Yeah, there you go, dude Okay, so you have Your equipped weapon you have like a weapon on a sling so like a back You have your pistol melee space for like contacts glasses face covers tc 2002 that's a helmet that we know pistol slot you've got your your different mags in your rig yeah surf kits and then you have the your tack rig and then your actual wait no yeah that's like a belt rig sorry belt rig with like pistol mags 
a little candy bar and a grenade, but then you have your safe lock. So it's just like an alpha container, similar to Targov. It's sick. Yeah, and then I was looking down here too. Yeah, so you have your weight, your intoxication, your radiation, which is interesting that they already have those in there too. Um, hydration and energy, we're used to seeing those. And then your blood level too. So that's just your health, I guess. Yeah, you can die from blood loss. Just like anything else, makes sense. Okay, that was pretty seamless too, like dropping an item to a teammate. Yo, even in third person, the animations look good. That's clean. That's really clean. Yeah, the thing under the secure container was, um, was that little bell rig, was it not? Yeah, it's a little belt. Oh, no, it's pockets. Sorry, that's your pockets under the secure container. So you have like little pockets um, on your character. I don't know if those are like the pockets of your rig, maybe. Or if those are just like the, the pockets in like your pants. But yeah. Pretty clean. The sounds are good, too. Like you can hear that that's like on the right side. You know what I mean? Like him doing the surgery and stuff. I want to see more of that. Like when he walks up to a teammate, it says examine. So I wonder if you can like, no, I guess you can't heal your teammates because he had to drop that for him. I want him. Yeah, I really want him to examine a body, like a dead body. I want to see what the looting system looks like when you're actually like searching something. The eye relief looks good though on the scopes too. Scopes are clean. Scopes are clean, dude. Yeah, this is gray zone warfare. It's a pretty seamless swap too to low ready. So yeah, you have the high ready, which is what he's in right now, which is like the, the shoulder, you know, Tarkov movement. Yeah, the reticles are really clean too. Yeah, exactly. It's like old PK06. And then there you go. So that was low ready. So after a while of not engaging or ADSing, he goes, he automatically goes into a low ready. It looked like there. The AI looks good though. Like they actually like target really well. And engage. The suppression effect looks good and the aim punch looks really good too. Like when you get hit, it's not like you can't shoot back. You know what I mean? Like that's so frustrating in some games where like the second you get hit, there's like zero chance of you even being on target. The aim punch and, and suppression effect looks a, a lot cleaner. Yeah, the Tarkov aim punch is very, very harsh. They've kind of mitigated that a little bit with the new recoil system, but still tough to like stay on target when you're getting hit. Did they just have a teammate die or just take a hit? No, just take a hit. He's still alive. I don't know these audio cues, so it's like I'm learning on the fly here. To me, that sounded like a Tarkov death, you know, it was like, <laughs> I mean, the COD sprint animation might not be here forever too, right? Like you have to remember this is early days, right? Compare this to Tarkov in 2016. Tarkov doesn't look anything like it does now. You know what I mean? So. Tarkov's animations in 2016 look goofy as hell too. And they've improved and refined. I like that they already have risers in the game too. Yeah, it could be the default sprint animation. Exactly. It, there's there's no way. I'm more taking it like, like the core mechanics is what we kind of have to focus on here. Uh, yo, Metal, thank you for the 86 months. 86 months heard strongly is a long time. Uh... 
but yeah we have to kind of focus more on like the the like nitty-gritty like the the core mechanics um yeah exactly og tarkov didn't even have healing animations so let's take that with a grain of salt yeah. the gunplay looks good recoil looks good interacting with things picking things up it all looks really good large blood bag oh okay so you can like give yourself a fucking transfusion holy shit you literally do what the f this is sick i like how crisp and clean the reload sounds too sounds really good I just love how good the glass looks. Like, the glass looks so good on these reticles. Movement looks clean, though. I'm curious to see how, like, flashlights and stuff look indoors. But the environments look good. They look really good. And we all, we already know that things are penetrable, too. Like, that, this metal fence on the left, for example, or, like, that wood fence... You'd be able to shoot somebody through it, no problem, based on the Blizzix video. So that's already cool. I just really need him to loot something. Yeah, so bad. I just want to see that loot screen. Oh, the one tap. That's clean. Upper thorax. He may cross his barrel there. <laughs> Bushes, uh, they do. They rustle and they move. Yeah. Yeah, the pen video was really nuts. Really nuts. The, uh, the ballistics that they have in the game already are incredible. Okay, close combat looks okay too. I just need him to check a body. Yeah, they already have shoulder swapping too, yeah. The slow movement looks really good. Like in third person, looks really fucking clean. Helmet just took a little ricochet there. Wait, did his teammate just go down? Oh no, he's alive. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Yeah, like the creep movement, the slow movement looks really, really good. What did that HUD say there a second ago too? Like when you walk through that body? Oh, it was just him changing the single. Never mind. Okay, that looks fucking clean. The weapon handling looks good. You know what I mean? Like, like watching his player character in third person like inspect his weapon or do whatever that was like change his fire mode it was good and yeah, the mag checks look good
the jungle just looks good too it does i think it's the jungle the jungle is what makes it feel very far cry ish right like far cry is kind of like the only game that has really done the jungle justice i think you know what i mean and, and really kind of made it stand out in our memories and that's why like any game the only other game that this kind of reminds me of is just cause have you guys ever played the just cause series it they did the jungle really really well in that game too um and that it kind of gives me that same kind of like brazilian you know amazon kind of vibe um exactly exactly yeah just cause yeah it was it was really good so th this kind of gives me that same kind of feel obviously this is first person not third but yeah definitely definitely very far cry I see why you guys think that yeah tropical exactly this is amazonian targov <laughs> But this is cool too, going through the cornfields. It just looks real. Like the, the environment feels very like true to life. You know what I mean? Like that little, like, I don't know, like thatched roof on that shack even. Like that's, it's just, I don't know, sick. Yeah, and I'm sure when Tarkov... Oh, big snipe. Yeah, I was going to say he missed the headshot. Uh, what's it called? I'm sure Tarkov going to Unity 2022 or whatever it is is going to help them a lot. Oh, man, this, this game being on Unreal Engine 5... My sniping just looks satisfying already, dude. And this isn't even sniping. That's still just DMR. That's not even... Like, none of these guys are rocking a bolt action. I want to see some, like, proper bolt action gameplay. There was, I think, one sniper in a gameplay trailer uh, trailer that we saw. Yeah. I mean, if you're building an FPS game, Unreal Engine will always always trump everything. I'm leaving the timer off until we're done uh, watching this. Because this isn't to do with Tarkov or anything. With this bush, like, rustle mechanic that they have, too, I don't think you'd be able to hide in a bush very effectively because you'll push it down, right? I'd have to wait and, like, watch one of them, like, stop in a bush to see. I'd have to, like, kind of pause it, but it looks like you would actually, like, your, your character has physics and it would, you know, adjust how the bush looks. Well, I mean, this is already probably like they don't have an FPS counter, but this is probably already running at like 200 plus FPS. You know what I mean? Just because the Unreal Engine is designed for this with full ray tracing, full everything. Yeah, see, like, look at that. Did you see how that rustled? Do you see how that moved to uh, 2059? So we'll go back to 2057. But yeah, like, see when he walks through right there. Boom. sick uh no no word yet about a release date or a beta Roger. Raven is in the air and heading to Bravo 3. oh you actually have to radio your helicopter that's sick oh there's a little icon on the top left that's their uh their dehydrated icon it's like lips with a little fucking water drop <laughs> yeah you see how that's like moving and rustling though so what's even crazier too is that your muzzle will do that so if you're taking cover and you're shooting from behind because they showed it in the one of the other uh trailers if you're shooting from behind a bush the bush moves and rustles based on the blast like based on the concussion of your your rifle it looks absolutely insane yeah exactly like full leaf physics <laughs> Oh, 
I love the glint, man. I love that little red reflection in that fucking reticle in that in the glass. Oh. Yeah, weapon handling looks good. That was like a check chamber. Raven here. I'm moving out. ETA, one minute. And that's the other thing too. Like it even says it in the bottom right. This is pre-alpha, guys. This is not even like alpha gameplay yet. This is pre-alpha. So it's only gonna get better. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully they can find a way to make looting, you know, exciting and impactful. And if they can, watch out. Yeah, no, not COD Glint. We're not talking about like, we're not talking about enemies far away seeing your scope, Glint. We're talking about you seeing like we are right now. See that little bit of red in the bottom of his, in the glass of his lens. That's what we're talking about when we say scope glint, like that little tiny bit. But yeah, that's where uh, eye cups come in, right? Like eye cups IRL are designed to cut down, cut down on the that that glass glint that you're seeing. And I'm sure they'll have eye cups too, just like Tarkov. They'll always add new items and stuff too, right? Yeah, nothing can be the Tarkov killer. This has the best chance. I will say that. This is Raven arriving shortly near your position. This is this is definitely a healthy healthy competitor for sure. I like that you get radioed in though from your uh your helo. That's kind of sick. Oh, and these are the landing zones. These are like little mapped out fucking trench areas. Kind of sick. I wonder if you can get tapped as you're extracting like that. It's crazy that you're still playing though. Like I wonder when it cuts out. I can't wait to get my hands on it, man. It's going to be super sick. It's going to be really fun. Actually, I'll, you know what? Instead of just talking about it, I'll play it. Uh, it's not long. You can see how things bounce off of different materials, how much penetration they have and stuff too. It's, it's actually really, really impressive. Yeah, look at that. The way it bounces off of a corrugated surface. Disgusting. Disgusting. And that's M995. So that's a high penetration round. And you can see how they're all going through. With only like one being stopped like right here on the last sheet. And then they have actual, they like made ballistic gel to test. And show bullet penetration and travel. Yeah, callable heli extracts in Tarkov. They wanted to have that be a thing, but it looks like Gray Zone beat him to the punch, man. This is what I'm saying. Like their ballistics are already so fucking advanced. Like this is Unreal Engine 5, boys. That's all it is. Look at the difference. So you have nine mil penetration versus 556 fmj versus m995 and you can see like the cone is a really cool representation too because that's the maximum force right being you know obviously whittled down as it goes through the ballistic gel but that's do the coding that goes into unreal 5 i i took game design and i took software engineering and computer science and i still like the the values that are being calculated in like nanoseconds is just so impressive. It's insane. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> and then this is cool. So this is, I thought this was a bolt action the first time I saw this, but this is actually a 12 gauge shotgun um, at 50 meters. So again, this is a very realistic spread too. Wait till you see this, but this is a 12 gauge uh, buckshot 50 meters. Watch this. 
Look at that. That's a realistic spread for Buckshot. Yeah, exactly. The flowering from the gas escaping. Yeah. But that's, man, it's crazy. And then this, this is just, this is, this is them showing off. Okay. The, the rest was really good. It was all impressive. We were all on board. We were with them a hundred percent. We're like, yo, you know what? Take a bow. Well done. Well played. And then they did this. Like now you're just showing off, dude. The fact that the bullets can skip, but not only that, they can double ricochet. Yeah, like this one right here. So they can skip and depending on the angle, they either stop on the wall or kick again and go back. Just filthy. Absolutely disgusting, dude. Absolutely disgusting. Seriously, can't wait. Uh, they were a mobile game prior to this. So I don't know how strong their finances are, but I know. Um, so for one, we, we kind of talked about this in the past. There's no way a AAA studio can do a game like Tarkov and do it justice because it has to be done like slowly and with patience. Like over time, it has to be like a passion project. It can't be a shareholder, you know, try to, you know, profit margin boost, whatever. It can't be one of those. If you want to do a Tarkov style game and do it right, it has to be an indie dev. They have to do it because they want to do it and they want to push the genre and they have to take their fucking time and this is the closest thing i've seen to anyone coming to doing it right so i'm i'm just excited i'm i'm excited to see it we have to wait and see